Hi folks, my name is Justin. I'm watching Vashcat Naked here today. He refuses to be on the show when my t-shirts are cuter than his. So today we have... Dustin. Beautiful. How are you? Let's get this started. Yes. So today we're going to talk about the movie Atomic Blonde, starring Charlize Theron? Ther 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 Theron. Theron? Charlize Theron. I apologize. It also stars James McAvoy, uh, John Goodman, and a lot of Russian people. In this movie, Charlize Theron, Theron plays a British agent who has to go into East Germany. It's 1989, the wall is still up, and she has to do some spy stuff, and there's a lot of fighting, and they have to recover a list that has been stolen that has agents of all sorts of people. Do you always feel like the list? The list is such a red herring kind of, it's just- It's true, it, there, we, there, have, there has been a list in almost, the first Mission Impossible movie was a list. list. You know what, government, Put it in two computers. Like, like, just try and help a little bit. Did you enjoy the movie? I did. I, I, I it was, it was a fine, well-crafted action film. I don't think that this is going to be something that's going to be in the canon of great films ten years from now. Mm -hmm. So I went into this movie thinking it was like John Wick because of the trailer. I feel like it's more like a James Bond. I agree. I would definitely. Uh, see the John Wick connection being that it is one of the co-directors. Oh, is it? And oh, yeah, yeah um, and the thing that I felt watching it was, you know when like you have a favorite band and then one of the members do their own side project? Yeah. And it's good and you yeah. like it, but man, you really like the band together. Wow, you when they're wish together. The band back together. Yeah, when they're together, it's, it's, a, it's atomic. I did like the movie, I feel like walking into it hoping it was John Wick, I kind of wanted some more fighting happening. Because uh, it's based on a comic book. Um, okay. Um, one that Vash will never read. Because sure. it's A, black and white. B, took place in 1989. I don't even know if he was born yet. And uh, C, there are no superheroes. No superheroes, political. If there are no capes, there's not a chance. <laughs> there's no, there's no not capes. A chance. There are fewer fight sequences than in like John Wick, yes. but the fight sequences in this are really well done. They're intense. And there's one <laughs> super kind of long one that's really Cool. I, Charlize Theron, the, the, as you said before, the, Charlize, is Charlize the, T, how does that woman look so beautiful and just yet she's bruised? She's, she's got a nice face. Yeah, she really does. She's, she's, she's got a nice face. By the way, that I'm like, I'm part penguin, so I like it cold all the time. Even <laughs> I saw that ice bath and it was like, hold up. That is, that is an ice bucket challenge gone wrong. <laughs> She shot that. Like, she kept getting in that. I don't know. I hope it was fake ice. I don't know how they well, did it. Well, she did her own stunts, from what I understand. You, that like, would be worse than all the stunts. Just the ice bath for, like, minutes at a time. <laughs> but if you like that kind of feel storyline of, like, a femme fatale who can, you know. Kick butt. Kick everyone's ass, no matter who they are, what's going on. In, in quite this is your movie. a multitude of outfits, too. <laughs> in a multitude of outfits, seriously. Like, I get it, you're, but if you're a secret agent, you're a secret agent, and you're gonna beat the crap out of people all the time, are you going to put on heels like that? <laughs> over and over, like, every time she was in a new, like, situation where she could die, it was a new set of, like, heels. By the way, Charlize is like it's a six-foot-five woman, so there's no need for the heel anyway. <laughs> Unless you're, like, facing Ivan Drogovic from Rocky IV, what's his name? That's the only reason you need a heel that high. There's just... Why did she bring only heels yeah. with her to East Germany to fight the Russians? You know, I, I would like to thank uh, Vladimir Putin for making Russia an easy adversary again. Because I feel like recently they've, they've gone away. It used to be like the general bad guy was Russia. Always. In all the movies. Then we left that and then now we had some Asian, like North Korea stuff. Okay. Now we've gone into the Middle East, like the general bad guy. I'm glad to see that Russia's coming back in the mix. Yeah, and it's, and it's like relevant. A, it's a, not, yeah, it makes sense. No so one I, can argue In this it. case, I guess I thank you, Vladimir Putin, for scaring us into thinking that all Russians could be bad. So, should we review the movie? Sure. Okay. Uh, I liked it. I, I give it a three. I liked it. You, could, you totally should watch it, but you don't need to see it in the theaters. Uh, and I didn't think it was better than like John Wick. Yeah, a nice solid three. It was a functional, well-directed, well-put-together film, and it's and it's and it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Like so officially, said. Vash thought this was a good movie. <laughs> Vash, you liked this movie. There you go. Thanks everybody for watching the show. Feel free to subscribe to the page. What was on last week, and then what uh, comes out on Blu-ray. Thank you, Dustin, for coming on. 
Uh, we appreciate it. It's been a while since I've seen him. This is actually a friend of Vash's. He works at the law firm. Uh, Vash pretends to be a lawyer. I, I appreciate it. It's uh, Someone's got to do it. Yeah, no, it's, it's very nice of you. Uh, thank you, everybody. We'll see you all next week. Bye.